Okay, so we're going to get started with the exposure session today. If you remember from last time, we're going to go through the scene exactly like you described it in the first assessment. Okay? Okay. The behavioral treatment program that we have here is based on what's known as extinction. And extinction is a scientific process by which people can get over their fears. A simple example is if you think about being afraid of a dog. Well, how do you get over your fear of a dog? Most people will say, you've got to be around a dog. And that's true. Unlike dogs that are pretty commonly found in the United States, there we don't have IED explosions or car bombs or other things like that that we can use, and nor would we want to in real life use those things in order to help someone get over their fear. So that's where the virtual reality comes in. The virtual reality is not the treatment. The virtual reality is merely what we use, a tool that we use in order to have the person immersed as much as possible in the environment that originally caused their fear. You're in the Humvee in Iraq. There seems to be an ambush. They're not sure what's happening. You're hoping you're gonna make it out. You hope your buddies are gonna make it out. Then we keep them in that environment until their fear dissipates. Olfactory stimulation is something that's fairly new in the treatment of anxiety disorders and particularly post-traumatic stress disorder. One of the things we know is that smells can trigger memories. And in this case, post-traumatic stress disorder is a horrific memory. So what we have heard from the warriors is that there are specific smells, even here in the United States, that remind them of the trauma. Those smells can elicit flashbacks. So what we are doing as part of a comprehensive treatment is not only having the warrior become immersed in the sounds and sights of the traumatic event, but also the smells. Smells are fairly new, but they're going to be powerful in helping the treatment achieve its optimal effect. We measure success based on behavior. So, for example, people who have post-traumatic stress disorder, our warriors will often say they have nightmares every night. Well, at the end of treatment, if the warriors are saying, I only have had one nightmare in the past month, that for us is substantial success. It's been really rewarding to us that we've been able to help people who have struggled with these traumas for such a long period of time. This is Dr. Beidel, and this is UCF.